Most the New England Patriots, obviously the biggest area of concern is Sam Darnold at quarterback. Sam was having his best game throwing the ball when he tried to use his legs to get a first down against the Falcons, and he took a shot on his throwing shoulder and also hit his head. He was put in concussion protocol, and the Cats held on for the 19-13 win, but now head coach Matt Rule will have to wait and see about his QB. You know, Sam will see the doctor today, so obviously he's in the concussion protocol. Um, you know, we'll wait and see where he's at before, you know, any next step. So uh, don't have a lot hypothetically after that. Just um, waiting to see, you know, obviously I saw him this morning walk around, but waiting to see what, you know, how his doctor's appointment goes. The Panthers did improve to 4-4. Four and four. They're going to host the New England Patriots Sunday at 1 p.m. College football, ECU sophomore Malik Fleming is your American Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Week. His pick six helped the Pirates pick up the 29-14 win over South Florida Thursday. It was one of four turnovers the Pirates defense forced. Now they're two wins away from becoming bowl eligible, and they have another big home game against Temple Saturday. Holt Naylor is hoping Dowdy will be rowdy again and help them get their fifth win of the season. Home wins are, are hard to come by in college football. Um, wins in general are hard to come by, so I'm just... Just helping turn this program around, man. It's, it's been a blessing for me and, and these seniors. You know, I mean, if this is my last year here, whatever, I'm um, just enjoying the ride, enjoying every single time I get to go out there in front of those fans. The Pirates, who beat the Owls last year, will kick off with Temple at 3 o'clock Saturday in Greenville. NBA News, former South Central star Dayron Sharp had his best day of his four-game pro career. The rookie played a season-high seven minutes, hit his first career three-pointer, scored a season-high five points in the Nets 117-91 win. But today, he was officially assigned to the Long Island Nets of the G League, who start their season Saturday. It's expected Dayron will likely shuttle back and forth between Long Island and Brooklyn to stay fresh in the G League while trying to crack the Brooklyn Nets rotation in the NBA. Finally to the World Series where the Braves will have to wait another day to try and win their first World Series title since 1995. Houston rallied from an early 4-0 deficit to beat Atlanta 9-5 and cut the Braves' series lead to three games to two. No celebration for Braves fans in their home park. Braves manager Bryant Snicker is trying to be patient. Just the good news is we'll take a day off and be, you know, be in good shape. Game six will be in Houston tomorrow night. That's an 809 first pitch on Fox Eastern Carolina. I'm Brian North for News Channel 12.